I was so disgusted. But no, there's some gnats in here. Usually use Skavorsky crystals with their items. When I say I'm thrifting, y'all know I'm not thrifting for anything regular. Look at this. Look at this. I used to, anything with pearl embellishment. Because, oh shit. Really cute if you like mini skirts. <laughs> Hello ladies, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shireen and I bring you fashion and a lifestyle video content. Thank you so much for tuning in to another vlog. It is Thursday, it's about 10.30 a.m. I actually just came out of a meeting and then a work phone call. I wanted to come on and introduce the vlog. It is such a beautiful day outside. I haven't been outside, but it is a beautiful day. It's gonna be kind of warm today. I wanted to catch you guys up from the week. I did not vlog this week, I just, didn't feel like having the camera in my face. I'm gonna be honest with you. I made some attempts and I, you know, thrifted and just, you know, did some running around and went to H&M. The footage that I did capture, I just really did not want to um, include <laughs> in a vlog. Um, I just wasn't in the mood to, to, to vlog or be on camera. So I'm just gonna give you guys a recap of my week. So if you've been on my channel before and watched previous videos, you may see a little bit different uh, you may see a difference in the background my plant babies are gone guys so in a recent vlog i talked about these gnats <laughs> and i assumed i i kind of figured they were coming from my plants right however i did not know how bad it was so and i even remember someone mentioning in my comments one of you ladies talked about how you guys mentioned that it's most likely from one of my plants they're infested from a fungus or whatever you were right girl you were right and i kind of figured it but i wanted to remedy the situation so not only did i order something from amazon and it's i haven't even used it because the gnats became extremely annoying i actually I think because I was so busy for weeks prior to, I knew I wanted to figure where these gnats were coming from, but I just did not know. I did not think about it long enough to actually figure it out and investigate. <sighs> Y'all, after ordering this solution off of Amazon and I, I just became so anxious and did not want to wait for it to arrive, so I found a hack with peroxide diluted in water. Now, mind you, I don't know which plant is the culprit, right? So I pour this peroxide solution in all of my plant soil because I'm trying to figure out who the culprit is, okay? I noticed that three of the plants that were in the same style pot were all infested. Every time I poured peroxide with the water solution in three of my plants and in the soil, the gnats would just come up. I even took like a pen and kind of, you know, and put it in the soil just to see, you guys. I was so disgusted. I am not a creepy crawler girl, okay? Not a creepy crawler girl at all. I do not, any hint of a bug in my home, I'm calling the exterminator. I've done it before. I do not deal with bugs. I do not play when it comes to bugs and critters, yuck. Okay, I do not play. I, I also think that was a way of my plants telling me F you and giving me the middle finger just because I haven't been paying much attention to them. I honestly haven't. I've been doing so many other things. I haven't been giving them the tender loving care and if I had, I would have caught this you know, prior to. So anyway, the plants that were thriving, I mean thriving, were infested. My ZZ plants, when I tell you those plants were growing so beautifully while being infested, okay? My money tree, my money tree plant was in my room on my nightstand opposite of where I normally sleep, infested. 
okay so they are my mom told me she was like put them outside let it dry out let the the soil dry out and maybe they'll go away the gnats i'm gonna i'm about to check it right now <laughs> i'm about to check it right now to see if they're still infested but i already have it in my mind to toss those plants in the trash next trash day they're lucky they missed this past trash day i'm sorry guys for those who are plant lovers out there, those things got to go in the trash, okay? I am not bringing them back in my home. I thought about repotting them, and I definitely need new pots for them because those pots are trash. So I'm going to insert a clip so that you guys can see, so that you guys do not get any pots in this same style because they're trash. They do not work. You know, they're, they're, they just don't function well versus my other pots because the water just simply the water was not draining the roots were not consuming the water they weren't draining properly do not get these pots they were on sale at home goods not home goods they were on sale at hobby lobby and i actually included them in a previous video because i got a bunch of the um, pots at one time because i think it was like 40 to 45 percent off and so they had a big sale i took advantage bought a bunch of pots but those three pots they're the same style different sizes they they've all caused the infestation of gnats because they just don't drain the water properly so anywho but let me go and sh let me show you what these plants look like um what these pots look like and let me see if this these plants are still infested let me bring you guys with me all right so as you can see i have them outside and i was prepared for them to die by now because of the change of climate, but they're actually thriving out here. <laughs> they're looking good still, but y'all, these plants are so infested. So let me test the soil. No gnats. Hmm. Could they be good? No gnats. Wait, I see a little bit. No, there's some gnats in here. That's my money tree. I mean, these plants are thriving, you guys. They are thriving. No gnats in this ZZ. Let's see this. No gnats in that one neither. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But these are the pots you guys should stay away from, okay? Do not invest in these pots. Stay away from these pots. And in other news, look at my fig just thriving. If you guys remember how much smaller it was, you would be so proud. Anyway. All right, let me fix you guys back. So, yeah, guys, that is my plant nat gate update <laughs> you guys um, we are almost at 3,000 subscribers i am so happy you have no idea i am so 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 happy and i just want to thank each and every one of you guys whether you are a viewer subscriber whatever the case is even if you are a troll honey i thank you because all the activity that occurs on my channel grows my channel so if you are leaving negative comments thank you thanks sis <laughs> if you are you know but for all my supporters for those who subscribe and watch every video i just i sincerely thank you especially my long vlog some of my vlogs are so long and for you guys to sit through and watch it and appreciate the content i truly appreciate it by the time you see this i may be be um past three thousand, but it is such a big deal i've been creating content on this channel for a little over a year now and i have put in the work and i'm just so happy to see you know to see the growth and and even the pace of the growth i am so so happy and i want to thank each and every one of you guys like i appreciate you guys so much oh i appreciate you guys so so much i i just can't thank you enough i cannot thank you enough so yes we are almost at 3k 
hopefully by the time this video is uploaded, we will already be at 3K. So thank you guys, thank you. Uh, um, I wanna share some pieces that I recently thrifted. They're out of season. You guys, I have been in, the thrift, in and out of the thrift store this week and I've been seeing the best fall and winter pieces. I highly, highly, highly recommend you not limit yourself to the current season or the up and coming season because you will miss out on some gems, okay? I find the best pieces out of season. So I'm seeing some amazing fall and winter pieces. I wanna share a haul, like a mini thrift haul with you guys right now and show you some of the pieces that I recently picked up, including, including a luxury piece from a consignment shop actually. And my sister actually got it. Matter of fact, let's start there. Let's start there. Okay, so for this piece that I'm about to show you, it is um, from Agora Vintage. You guys, my sister actually, um, she actually purchased it with me in mind, but she said, look, if you don't want it, I will take it, okay? She knows me. Okay, she knows her little sister because, honey, I snatched this up so fast. I said, let me cash up you now. Let me sell you now. This is a, G a vintage Givenchy necklace, you guys. Look how beautiful this is, how different and unique it is. This top unscrews. So I could put something in here if I wanted to, but I'm not. I absolutely love this necklace, y'all oh my god this is so pretty and i believe it has like skavorsky crystals here most designers usually use skavorsky crystals with their items but you guys know if you if you know if if you are not new here you know how i feel about vintage designer jewelry i cherish them i cherish these pieces um someone um was in my comments in my last video Asked, like basically questioning why I choose to invest in designer jewelry when it's not authentic gold. Listen, if you want to purchase authentic gold for me, <laughs> feel free. I my mail my mailing address my PO box is in my <laughs> in my description box. Feel free to gift me, okay? But I have not purchased authentic gold in a long time because. It is expensive. When I was growing up in Jersey, that's all I used to wear was a gold, authentic gold. But the pricing was so different in the early 90s versus today. So I rarely purchase fine jewelry because it's so expensive. But when I purchase fashion jewelry, I want high quality fashion jewelry that does not tarnish, that does not irritate my skin, and that has unique designs a lot of those pieces are designer. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not limiting myself to just designer fashion jewelry, but I don't like when I purchase a piece and it ends up tarnishing six months later. You know, I don't like for my skin to be irritated. I do have sensitive skin. So when it comes to jewelry, I'm very particular. And from the jewelry that I've collected, you know, designer jewelry that I've collected. I still have all of my pieces. They still remain in excellent condition. They don't irritate my skin. They don't tarnish. To me, in my opinion, they are an amazing investment. They're an amazing investment and then they look more, and then they're stylish. They're also stylish. To me, asking the question of why choose designer versus a regular whatever, is like saying, why would you choose this silk Prada shirt if you can have a regular silk shirt? If I had the ability to choose a designer piece versus a regular piece that may be made of a similar fabric, I'm gonna choose the designer piece. Not just because it's a designer piece, but it also, uh, it also can be sold and resold if I ever, if I was ever in a crunch, okay? If I was ever in a crunch, these designer houses that have been around for so long, their names hold weight and you can resell their items. And so I do appreciate designer pieces for that very reason as well. I love to be able to say, you know what? 
If I was ever in a crunch, I could always resell this and get at least this much for it. I'm not about to sit here and compare designer versus non-designer because I wear them all. And if you're new here, just understand that I shop everywhere. I shop from the thrift store to Neiman's, okay? I shop in Chanel and I'm gonna still shop at Goodwill. <laughs> that is me, I don't limit myself. I have fashion over jeans and I'll still, you know, get a pair of Joe's jeans from Saks. I don't limit myself when it comes to shopping. I like what I like. And I know that people who do have shady comments or questionable comments are usually not a part of the community because when y'all know me, I shop everywhere. And it's not about it being designer or not designer, but I just particularly like designer. It's like you liking designer handbags. You could get a regular leather handbag. But if someone said, here, I'm going to gift you a handbag, do you want the non-name handbag, handbag or do you want the Prada or Fendi handbag? How many of you are going to say, no, I want the non-name brand handbag? You're going to say, I want the Prada handbag or the Fendi handbag, okay? So anyway, enough with my rant. <laughs> you guys, this right here, everything. Everything. Okay, everything. I love this so much. Y'all are gonna see me wear this all the time. I mean, y'all know me. What's my favorite phrase? I wear my clothes. I wear my clothes. <laughs> now on to the non-designer pieces, but really, really cute pieces that are, like I mentioned, they're out of season. I purchased these pieces from Goodwill and I think I purchased one from Value Village. So let me show you. And I'm not, um, this is not going to be a style haul just because I need to disinfect, I need to get dry cleaned, I need to wash, I need to do all those things. Plus, they're not necessarily in season, so I'll, I'll definitely style them for you guys in a future video. But most of these pieces are for like the winter, the fall and winter. But I have to show you guys this piece. Y'all, this is a genuine leather genuine leather belt it has like a crocodile style um like a crocodile olive green style design you guys i love this belt so much and this is the thing i'm not like a, a big belt person but i'm becoming one one of my biggest style crushes Abby Silverman. I think that is her name, Abby Silverman. She is a creative director of Cosmo. And when I tell you, I love her style so much and she is reminding me of what a good belt or a, a stack of belts can do to your fit. Don't get me wrong, her style is definitely not my style, but I can pull, I feel like personal style is, is very much personal, right? But when it comes to style crushes, I pull, you know, certain bits and pieces from them and I'm inspired by them to make certain pieces my own. And her style is everything. I'm definitely going to insert a clip if you guys are not following her. She's mostly on Instagram. She has a few interviews here on YouTube, but she is pretty much more, she's more active on Instagram. Y'all need to follow her. Her style is everything, okay? But... Um, this is a belt that I got from, I still have the tag on it for $2.99 from Goodwill. It is real leather. And I think that's what sold me on this. The fact that it was genuine leather. And I also like the fit of it. It can either, um, the, the sizing of it, it fits me where it can be tighter on my waist or I can let it kind of hang, um, low a little. Um, so I really like that. It's definitely some imperfections here at the buckle. You can see where some of the metal is kind of like there's some wear and tear there but i don't mind the color is so beautiful um it's this olive green the color is gorgeous you guys gorgeous so yes i had to pick this up i feel like there i have some cute ideas in mind when it comes to styling this belt so i'll definitely be sharing it here on my channel make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not subscribed yet I brought my white hangers down. Those are like my showcasing hangers. <laughs> Y'all, I had to. I had to. I had to. 
So this is a sequin beaded top, but if you look closely, you see how the top is slightly sheer. You guys, I had to, I had to look at this. It is definitely vintage. You could tell by the label here. Um, I had to look at how cute this top is. And it does not have a lot of structure when it comes to the fabric. It's rayon. It's nothing, you know, special when it comes to the fabric of the shirt. But when I tried it on in the store, I could easily like tie this in the back. You know, I could easily make this something. Um, it is like a t-shirt fabric, pretty thin. I love it so much. It does come with shoulder pads that I think I'm going to take out just because the way it fits me, it's kind of off. Um, it, this says a large, but it really fits like an extra large or a double XL. Well, I don't know. When I tried it on the store, I tried it on over my my um, top that I already had on and it seemed pretty big, but these are the type of statement pieces that I'm talking about. When I say I'm thrifting, Y'all know I'm not thrifting for anything regular, okay? I'm not thrifting for any regular clothes. I'm thrifting for statements. This right here is everything. How beautiful is this? So pretty. So this was, I don't think I had any sales. This was for $6.24, you guys, from Goodwill. Everything, everything. And I can honestly wear this in the spring because it is so thin that's another thing that that kind of caught my attention with it i'm like it's sequin usually the sequin beaded pieces are pretty heavy not this one not this beautiful so this next piece oh This next piece is actually from Pretty Little Thing, you guys, but I couldn't leave it in the store. Typically, I stay away from thrifting the fast fashion stores like Pretty Little Thing. You know, and I'm going to say extreme fast fashion stores because there are definitely a lot of stores are can fit under the fast fashion umbrella, even Zara. You know what I mean? It's considered fast fashion. But when I say fast fashion, I'm talking about more extreme fast fashion fast fashion, such as the Fashion Novas, the Sheins, the Pretty Little Things. For items that are just too, too adorable, and I can't, I if, 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 if I try it on, number one, if it catches my attention, name or no name, I gotta explore it. And if I try it on and fall in love with it, despite where it's from, I gotta have it. Look at this. Y'all, look at this look at the color story it is like a pastel corduroy oversized top or dress like a shirt dress i honestly is that something on here it's a slight little bit of there's like a slight discoloration here but it's okay y'all i had to pick this up this reminded me of Easter. This would have been perfect for Easter. <laughs> and although it's corduroy, it's pretty little things. So the corduroy is not heavy at all. You could definitely wear this in spring, depending on the kind of climate you're in. Right now, it's way too hot in Atlanta for me to be wearing this. But I thought this was so cute. It is very much oversized on me, but I could wear this as a dress easy. And it looks so cute. I used to love a good shirt dress. That used to be my thing. I love the color blocking on this. It's like this lavender green and like a orangey, like a sherbet color. I absolutely love this. I also love that the buttons are purple, the same, um, the same color of the shirt. And I love how the lining is the same color of the shirt. You know, although it is from Pretty Little Thing, these are certain things certain features of a design that I do appreciate because it makes the design look higher quality than it may be than what it is it makes it look like it's a higher of higher quality so I absolutely love this this is a um, US size 12 so this is my size um, in pretty little thing but it is kind of oversized so I haven't purchased anything from pretty little thing 
since I've lost some weight. So I'm probably now a solid 10, maybe eight in certain items, but this one is a 12 and you can see how big it is on me. But y'all, I love this and I thrifted this from Goodwill for $6.24. I had to get it. I had to get it, pretty little thing or not, it was coming home. Even when I was trying it on in the middle of the store, people were stopping me like, oh, that is cute. Yes, it is, thank you. <laughs> Yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So, so the next piece, y'all, I had to get in. Y'all know me. I love a good statement or a good little embellishment or something. Okay. Y'all, this is a sweater from White House Black Market. Yes. White House Black Market. I had to get it. I got this from Goodwill. It's pretty long line. So it's like a, like a mock neck, long line sweater. But these, this detail right here is everything. Look at this. Look at this. You guys, I used to hate pearls. Used to hate pearls. Now I'm starting to really like pearls. I used to hate pearl anything. Anything with a pearl embellishment, yuck. I used to, not anymore. When I tell you I love a good pearl, this right here, I love it. Love it. This sweater is in such great condition. It looks like it was hardly worn. Again, I got it for $6.24. I'm telling y'all, if you are thrifting, go in the fall in winter pieces. You will be so surprised at the gems you find. Every thrift store that I went to this week, I probably went to a good three. I saw the best items in the fall in winter pieces. The sweaters, the jackets, the coats. You guys, this is so adorable. And it's not going to be summer forever, okay? It's not going to be spring forever. You'll be able to wear it. Like, if you're the type of person that has to wear new pieces as soon as you get them, this may not be for you. I'm in the process of continuing to build a strong wardrobe. A strong wardrobe that I love. Love every single piece. And that involves me not limiting myself when I am sourcing pieces, especially from the thrift store. You guys, I'm telling y'all shop off season at the thrift store and honestly not just when it comes to thrifting i feel like you do get great deals when you shop out of season everything right now um on sale is from the fall and winter don't limit yourself if you're not in a rush to wear something so don't this limit. next piece i actually thrifted a few weeks ago from value village and i just have not made it to the dry cleaners yet so i was gonna um show this one to you haven't made it to the dry cleaner, but you guys, it is a long line red blazer. If you see this on, y'all, the way it is tailored to my body, perfection, okay? I love this so much. It is definitely, um, it's from Casual Corner, a size 12, but it definitely has, um, it was definitely worn. Like, you can see it, um on the inside how much it was worn. So I definitely want to get this dry cleaned and disinfected and all that good stuff. Uh, it does come with shoulder pads. Um, you can see, I told you, look, the fabric, same color buttons, love it, comes with pockets. But I love it because not only is it long lined, and you all know I'm short waisted, right? So I love a good long line, anything, but it cinches at the waist so it gives that perfect tailoring it's so oh i love the way this looks so much and i could definitely wear this in the spring and possibly even in the summer because i tend to when i go to like the office i'll wear a blazer all year round because offices tend to be cold but this color red everything and i'm seeing a lot of color um, a lot of red blazers in this color at the thrift store right now i've seen at least two or three that if I did not get this one, I would have purchased, y'all. Blazers, sweaters, coats, jackets, 
make sure you are looking in those departments at the thrift store. I'm telling you. That is it for this haul, you guys. So it's only a few pieces um, that I want to share with you guys, but this is the reality of how I thrift. This is over a course of thrifting for a few weeks. I do not shop in bulk and I'm very intentional with the pieces that I pick up. I've probably picked up, I had a whole lot in my cart, but by the time I try things on, think about it, you know, it just does not make it home. So that's my reality when it comes to thrifting. Y'all, I must say, the skin is looking quite yummy right now, okay? The skin is skinning. It's looking quite yummy. Matter of fact, my dermatologist um, complimented me on my skin today. But this is the thing, I do have on makeup today, light makeup. This is my everyday, well, everyday makeup because I don't wear makeup every day. But I don't wear like heavy foundation. I don't wear any foundation. I haven't worn foundation in a good, oof, it's been a long time. Just because I like the way my makeup looks without foundation better. I just, I just feel like I'm good without foundation. Nothing against using foundation because when I do use foundation, I love my NARS, I love my NARS um, foundation, but for the most part, I just use concealer and powder. But I'm liking the way my skin is looking. Yeah, it's looking pretty juicy. It's looking pretty yummy. But yeah, when she complimented me on my skin today, my dermatologist, that made me feel pretty good. I mean, come on. And I got eczema, okay? Eczema. <laughs> that right there, when I used to, um, like growing up, before I knew how to manage it, y'all, my breakouts would be horrific. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, gosh, it would be horrible. And I never had a huge breakout on my face only when I went to Cuba. I went to Cuba and forgot my medication and that climate over there, I already knew it was about to be. My face felt like a Brillo pad. On my way back from the airport, I've never been so uncomfortable. I mean, straight up Brillo pad, okay? So that's why I had that appointment. Even though I was good on medication, I'm like, listen, I never need to run out of medication and I never need to um, forget my medication when I'm traveling. I don't care where I'm going, I'm bringing my jar. This is why I don't care if I'm traveling for one day, I'm checking my luggage because- Yo, I like these. I love a good wide leg sweatpant. I don't know if I would want white though. Why are these in white? These are cute. I don't want white though. And then, are these the sweatpants? No. I have these already. No, yeah, I have this one already. 1010 recommends, okay? Oh, for my girls who love a good mini. This is cute. I don't want mini skirt. This is really cute though. If you like mini skirts, right, so these shorts are my speed right here. What size are Nothing. Hold on. I wish I had the same delusion that I do when I was two and didn't think that I could ruin anything at all. I could never fall. I wish I had that same conviction. Convinced I never need a fixing. Yeah, that girl really knew her business. Where did she go? Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get anywhere Confident she's number one And if nothing, everybody's wrong Hello, ladies. It is 
Friday. It's Friday afternoon, it's about 1.30. And remember that event, I'm sorry, I'm still kind of like getting dressed. <laughs> um, remember that event that I told you guys about called Skip Day or Atlanta Skip Day or Skip Day Atlanta. I'm not sure of the official title, but it is today and I just got dressed. I wanted to show you guys my look, of course. Um, I really, I'll insert a clip so that you guys can see the whole fit. I really wanted to wear this bodysuit without a bra. So this is the Skims Amazon dupe bodysuit, but it has the thicker straps. So I can definitely wear it with or without a bra without a third layer. Um, typically I wear, um, I've worn this bathing suit before, not this exact one, but the black one. I was so tempted y'all. <laughs> So tempted to wear it again um, but I was like you know what let me just give these other bodysuits a chance the biggest issue that I'm having with the bodysuits other than the black one are that my nipples show so my nip snips are kind of showing or the imprint is showing and I just don't feel comfortable being out in public like that so I really really wanted to wear them without a bra um, because it just like why have a bodysuit that's shapewear if I have to wear a bra with it? That is so annoying, but these are the issues when you have 38 triple Ds that you really have to deal with. And I'm a triple D in Walco's bras. I'm probably like a H, F, Elemental P in Victoria's Secrets, okay? I don't even go in there for bras anymore. So I do have on a Walco t-shirt bra under this bodysuit. This is the most recent one that I showed you guys on my channel in a most in a recent video that I ordered from Amazon. I love these Skims dupes and I also love Skims. I actually, I actually have a more reddish brown bodysuit from Skims that I was tempted to wear. But again, I don't know if I feel really comfortable with the nip nips showing. When my sister comes, I may take my bra off and show her how it looks and we'll go from there but i think i'm gonna settle with this chocolate bodysuit just because i have the whole outfit together now you guys have seen um well oh i'm also wearing my new my new givenchy vintage necklace amongst some others that you already are familiar with this um Nef queen nefertiti from beauty melanin and then this um lock that says it has a s I'm on it for Shireen, of course, from Nordstrom's Rack. I'm wearing my Gucci cuff, the chocolate brown, my bar bracelet from Nordstrom's Rack, this ring from Essence, and then these rings from Nordstrom's Rack. I'm wearing my good old faithful Fashion Nova jeans. These are high-waisted, the holes done expanded, but you know what, for the event that I'm going to today, it's gonna be kind of like an outdoor inside vibe. I felt like it was very, very appropriate, <laughs> okay? this um these jeans are very edgy it makes my outfit look edgy i could have worn one of my newer um american eagle jeans but i needed a more edgier vibe for today so i decided to go with these fashion over jeans where the holes are just out of control okay um, and i'll link everything in the description box everything that i could possibly link i'm gonna pair them with these fendi sneakers y'all i've had these sneakers for so long and I continue to wear them. I don't care if they're on trend, not on trend, the new it thing, I don't care. I love these sneakers so much. I love the colorway. I love a good chocolate and black mix. And so I feel like it definitely um, matches the look today. And I was struggling with what bag to carry because I really wanted to do like a gold bag, but I can't find a strap for one of my gold bags from Zara and I didn't want to wear it as a clutch. However, that bag is very hard to, it, it's not functional. It's a metal bag. I love it so much. I featured it on this channel before. Um, it's just not functional. And then I also have a Bottega dupe leather bag from Amazon, but that has no straps. And I really did not want to walk around in a crowded event with 
having to hold my bag in my hand. I just did not want to do that. So I am carrying my good old faithful bucket bag by Gucci. This is the Gucci Marmont. Y'all, I love this bag so much. I honestly don't know what glasses I want to wear. So I have two. I have my good faithful Amazon that um, glasses that you guys have seen time and time again here on my channel. So I have these that I can wear and it has like a light tint a light brown tint to it. Then I also have these from ASOS that I got a few years ago and I really love this um, this style and design. I don't know you guys, what do you guys think? I mean, by the time you see this video, I would have already made my decision. I'm leaning with this, um, these sunglasses, but I'm gonna let my sister and my cousin or my god sister decide. Um, so yeah guys that is the full look um i i always tell you guys this i'm a basics paired with statements type of girl and i am really really honing in on my capsule like i am a capsule wardrobe girly and i'm learning to accept that i like wearing certain pieces over and over and over again and just styling them differently i prefer restyling pieces that I continue to wear all the time versus going out and buying something new that I feel okay about. I much prefer restyling pieces that I absolutely love. And I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't always love everything that I purchase and I'm starting to change that. And for the past six months, I can definitely say everything that I've brought in my wardrobe, I absolutely love, like love those pieces. And that's why I'm finding myself re-wearing these pieces over and over and over again and just styling them, them up a little bit differently. And so I'm embracing, I actually have a video that I will place in the description box regarding capsule wardrobes because because I've always known that that is the route that I wanted to go and that's the direction that my wardrobe was going in but I'm really truly becoming it before claiming it if that makes sense so I'm definitely a capsule wardrobe girly I can have wear the same 10 pieces over and over and over again in a number of ways and so I don't mind making certain investments I just don't mind. I, I absolutely love it and embrace it. Um, and I love basics. I love pairing basics with statements. That's just my thing. That is what I feel most comfortable and confident in. So anywho, I'll enough chatting the day away. I will, um, I'm going to sit there. I'm going to capture some content that you would have already seen in the inserted clips. I will take you ladies along with me. Um, I have not ate anything besides that oatmeal that you guys saw in the previous clips. I had a meeting directly after that that was pretty long and so and then I just started getting ready right afterwards so I'll definitely um take you guys along with me and if my outfit changes I'll definitely peek my head back in I'll, I'll turn that camera on and let you guys know what I've changed but I think I'm gonna keep this look on I'm just so disappointed in me having to wear a bra today like extremely disappointed and i'll link my bra video for the bras that i got from wall cole i think i got like a total of four or five um and so i'll link that video if you guys are looking for bras but yeah guys i think that wraps up my outfit of the day the only I'm trying to see right now it's a whole lot of money <laughs> It just got real. Say how you feel. Got is mad. It has too bad. Off of my dick, I got him stressed out. Look at me, I'm blessed now. Tell him I'm the best out. Giving nothing less. But you guess to see my third eye. You see my halo. Untamed no cage, ho. Tip it through the payroll. I'm about my bank notes. Good look, they taking those. What the if we waiting on? It's what I pray for, right? Yeah. Black, black, tell them back, back. Just how I get my lick back. On the get back. They won't hit me, get the last laugh. I'm the last, last. Then it all in the grass patch. Run a cash grab, yeah. I'm off the medicine. They on the sedatives. Finish settling. I'm him, no questioning. Up late, no rest again. Them ain't threatening. It's what I invested in. Bring the blessing in. The moment is high stakes I used to spend time on my time pay The way speaker thumping and vibrate She jumping my bones, make it gyrate yeah. Yeah. Sit there for a crib
if it's a five place I turn off my phone for like five days I show out, I know it's my time, lady Jump started this shit from online, baby Whatever we doing, it's live, ain't it? They envy, defended, they pride, ain't it? Don't say how they feeling in my face I'm flowing with this fire in my team All right, guys, so I am finally home. It was a long day, but it was a good day. Skip day was definitely a vibe. I saw so many people, so many people that I knew just that I haven't seen in like 10 or 15 years. Y'all know I don't be going out the house, okay? But I had such a good day. It was a vibe. It was grown, grown adults, okay? <laughs> Skipping work, <laughs> Um, I was literally working via text <laughs> and even while I was there, but I had such a good time. It was clearly a cheat day. That burger was a bomb that I showed you guys in the previous clip. I had a few margaritas. They were light and refreshing and I'm not a tequila girl. I'm not like a hard liquor girl, but it was really, really good. Um, skip day. I thought it was annually, but my sister told me they do it once a month. So if you guys are in the Atlanta area and you want to um you know attend i'll put everything in the description box so you can get or keep up with the website i'm not really sure if they have a, i think they do have a website like i bought my ticket it was ten dollars from eventbrite but yes guys um i had a really good day and then before we left or on our way back we decided to get dinner <laughs> so um we went to that thai place and y'all remember i had such a bad experience at that thai place before because they took hours before i got my sushi but this time around i got that um i got like a beef and shrimp ginger stir fry it was so good i still have some left over but i'm so glad we decided to stop because i was not coming back here to cook and i feel like i needed that food to have a great night's sleep but yeah guys we were out all day for the most part we left here around two left skip day like around seven we were out in the sun <laughs> it was i mean the rain held up it did not rain my hair is probably it's definitely a little bit like frizzy plus i worked out last night and i'll be working out um i am resting this weekend from workouts my arm is still killing me from yesterday um my arms and my back but yeah, I'll resume my workouts on my day. So, yes, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog tonight and start a new one tomorrow. So if you are new here or if you are just not a subscriber yet and you enjoy the content, what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit that like button, you know, comment below. It all helps my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for getting me over 3,000. I feel like by the time um, you see this, I may be over 3,000. Let's hope. Let me cross my fingers. Um, but yes, I'll be starting a new vlog tomorrow. So this vlog will be going up on Sunday. And then the following vlog for the weekend vlog will be going up on Thursday. So yes, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in my next video.